टुडे वी आर गोइंग फॉर रेडियो वेव प्रोपोगेशन बिफोर गोइंग फॉर द प्रोपोगेशन मेथड्स ऑफ द रेडियो वेव्स वी विल फर्स्ट अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज रेडियो वेव्स रेडियो वेव्स आर ऑलवेज यूज फॉर द वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन द रीजन बिहाइंड फॉर रेडियो वेव्स to be used in our wireless communication is speed of the radio waves is always equal to the speed of light that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 that is we can achieve highest speed of communication with help of radio waves so radio waves can easily travel with high speed also in radio waves there are two fields are present one is the electric field and another another is the magnetic field in above figure blue line indicates electric field and the red line indicates the magnetic field both fields are perpendicular to each other or right angles to each other now this is the structure of the radio waves and due to the high speed transmission we have to go for the radio wave communication now when these radio waves are transmitting from transmitter to receiver in between transmitter to receiver we have to go for the propagation methods that is style of transmission of radio waves or method of transmission of the radio waves is called as the propagation methods now there are three types of the propagation methods as shown in above classification first is ground wave propagation second is sky wave propagation and third is space wave propagation now these are the frequency ranges of this propagation methods that is if rf signals that is radio signals or radio waves are having frequency less than 3 megahertz then we have to go for the ground wave propagation if frequency of the radio waves is between 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz then we have to go for the sky wave propagation if the frequency is greater than 30 megahertz then we have to go for the space wave propagation now first method is the ground wave propagation as shown in above figure around the curvature of the earth our antenna is placed that is transmitting antenna is placed our transmitting antenna will transmit information signals in form of radio waves towards the receiver now these radio signals will follow the ground surface on the earth as shown in above figure so the respective waves are also called as the ground waves or surface wave and the respective propagation method is called as ground wave propagation or surface wave propagation now second type of propagation is sky wave propagation now as shown in above figure around the curvature of the earth we are having atmospheric layer now in that respective atmospheric layer different layers are present in that one specific layer called as ionosphere is present around the earth surface now special property of that ionospheric layer is the respective frequencies the signals having frequency less than 30 megahertz will be reflected back towards the earth surface by the ionospheric layer we have to take advantage of this property of the ionospheric layer that is we have to transmit our radio waves in our atmospheric layer from our atmospheric layer ionosphere will reflect back this signal towards earth again and at that respective region we have to place our receiver to receive the radio waves this is the sky wave propagation method now third method is space wave propagation 
as shown in above figure on our earth surface we have to place our transmitting antenna and receiving antenna in a such a way that is they will follow line of sight distance that is they should be on seen distance to each other they can easily transmit direct wave from transmitter to receiver so this propagation method is called as direct wave propagation also this propagation method is called as line of sight propagation that is transmitter and receiver should follow direct wave to each other they should be in line of sight region so this propagation method is called as space wave propagation in such a way today we discussed about three propagation methods of the radio waves